Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. This story is written for beginner English learners. Ready? Let's get started. A2 English Story by the Harbour The boats wait in the harbour for their passengers. They move up and down on the water. It is relaxing to watch them and listen to the sounds of the water. The seagulls swim at the side of the boats and wait for food. You can go for a ride on some of the boats, but you have to pay. You can choose between the speedboat, the sailing boat, or the old pirate ship. The speedboat is the cheapest, but also the quickest boat. You ride with six other people out into the bay and back again at high speed. It is exciting. The boat jumps over the waves and moves around quickly in the water. You will get wet, but it is worth it. If you want a calmer experience, you can choose the sailing boat. This boat is bigger and will sail along the coastline. Sometimes you can have drinks and meals on the boat while you enjoy the views. Sometimes there is a tour guide who will tell you about the history of the area. If you have children or you like the idea of experiencing something a little different, you can go on the pirate ship. A lot of seaside towns have a pirate ship. They are great fun and many people enjoy them. They play music and the staff will tell stories about the people who used to own the boats. Back at the harbour, you will also see lots of fishing boats. These always leave in the early hours of the morning and bring lots of fish and crabs back a few hours later. The fishermen and women work very hard. They have to go out fishing in all weathers and sometimes it can be dangerous. Often on the seafront you will see little huts selling cockles, mussels, fish and crabs. Fresh fish tastes delicious and is very good for you. Often harbours will have lighthouses. Lighthouses have a light which flashes throughout the evening. This lets the people on the boats know 
where the harbour is. It also tells them that they are close to the coastline. Lighthouses can also be used to warn sailors of rocky areas. Along the harbour walls, you will often see families and children trying to catch crabs. In the UK, we call this crabbing. You can also see fishermen and women with their fishing rods trying to catch whatever they can. There is always a special buzz around the harbour. Sometimes musicians, young and old, play and sing to the tourists who visit. There is a harbour at a lot of seaside towns in the UK. They were built to protect the boats, but also coastal towns and villages from the rough seas. The long harbour walls stop the stormy seas from moving the boats around. Close to English harbours, you will often find a pub. In the olden days, many fishermen and women would stay in these pubs or go there for food, drink and shelter between their trips out to sea. These pubs are also popular with tourists. They like to sit by the pub windows or in the beer gardens and have a drink and watch the world go by. Sometimes you might hear people talk about ports and marinas. Ports are bigger than a harbour and sometimes a port can also refer to the town or village in which the harbour is. Ports are often for commercial use. Commercial use means that companies import and export goods at the port. That could be food, electrics, parcels and more. There are some marinas in the UK. Marinas are different to ports. They are only used for small boats and ships. Marinas are usually the home to yachts and fancy boats, whereas a port will welcome huge ships and have a lot of activity. One of the biggest ports in the UK is the port of Felixstowe. This port is in Suffolk and it's the busiest port. Next is the port of Southampton, followed by the port of London, the port of Immingham and the port of Liverpool. Many people like to spend time near to the sea and harbours. They are relaxing but exciting places. Lots of things happen at harbours and ports, so it is always an interesting place to be. If you ever go on a cruise, 
you will visit many different ports all across the world. Have you ever been to a port, a marina, or a harbour? Tell us in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.